Major parts of the Affordable Care Act are now in effect this weekend. With anything new comes the potential for scams. Debbie Bridgman joins us now from the BBB with some information about scams and how you can avoid them. Welcome, can you believe Debbie. it already? Well, whenever there's something new, that's what happens. And that's the problem. It's a lot of confusion. Nobody really knows what's going on, especially uh, the scams like this are targeting seniors, people over 65, people with disabilities, small business owners that just, they just don't know. And so when you have somebody from the government that's calling you and they're like, hey I have your new insurance cards you know Obamacare and everyone they, they know something's going on so they're getting a little excited right we're ready to mail them to you but uh, before we do that we just need to get just some personal information like your bank account your right. social security number no. Right. no 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 and they usually start off with we need to verify some information exactly and some things to look for first off if the government is gonna call you that's the thing they really aren't usually the government is gonna mail you something you know they don't call they don't text they don't email so they might mail you some information but they're really not going to call you and if it is the government they have your social security number so you shouldn't have to give out anything like that um, you know some other things to think about are um, you know what do they need what what do you need to give them um, you know nobody's going to be calling you if they do hang up caller ID you know people are getting tricky now and they can put little things in there that says hey US government no it, that's not there that's just not going to happen um, you know never give out any information and if you really are interested in what's going on healthcare.gov that's the place to go it has all the information that you need if you feel like you are being scammed or a potential victim, what can you do and what are, what's the recourse? The big thing is FTC.gov. These are the people that are putting all the health care information together. So if you feel that you have been scammed, FTC.gov. You can also go to BBB.org backslash scams and give us the information because that will help us target how are the scammers working, what's going on. The other thing is if you feel that you've been scammed, immediately call your bank account, call your credit card companies, let them put a fraud alert on your account. That way, if some something were to happen they're already alerted and plus when you put that fraud alert on that means that you can get a free credit report so they're watching things for you and if for something happening they could probably take care of it and, and reimburse you if there is a problem mm -hmm. so basically let people know as soon as possible but in the meantime just be smart and don't give out your personal information very good information <laughs> of course if you'd uh, like to get more information more tips concerning this you can go into the Better Business Bureau's website the information is there on your screen, and Debbie joins us uh, every Thursday or someone from the BBB to That's give you right. consumer tips. BBB, lots of stuff going on, and it's never a dull moment, that's for sure. All right, thank you, Debbie. <laughs>